Hi, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the five favorite perfumes that I've got um, that would, I would say they are on a very, very, they are, they are being sold at a very affordable price. They are proper, proper budget perfumes. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing my dressing and it's on a Friday, it's a Friday morning at uh, half past four, a couple of hours before I have to go to work. So I thought I'll record this video and share it with you. I don't know if you saw my previous video when I was talking about the top notes, heart notes and base notes because these are budget perfumes. I actually, when I was doing my research, there wasn't anything specific. There was just a general, um, um, general uh, explanation about the scent of the perfume. Um, so I'm just going to share it with you anyway. So my number five, so the prices will, uh, will be anything between between a few pounds up to about 20, 25 pounds, I would say is the top. So let's start it with my number five, which is actually from Zara. So this is the Bohemian Oud. Um, I believe this is a perfume. Yeah, it is, does say for the perfume. Um, I got this, I would say, maybe about a year and a half ago. You see there isn't much in there now. Um, according to the website, um, the scent is black pepper, immortal, vanilla, leather, incense and cocoa oud. So because of the name, you probably can guess what, what season I tend to wear this. It's a very, very kind of sweetish, leathery perfume. I would say it's uh, maybe a little bit masculine as well, but I like wearing this for Christmas actually. Uh, so winter time, I would say it's a perfume. It's a perfume made for win for the winter season. My number four, which I actually discovered last year, is it, I don't know if you can see it. It's Marks and Spencer's, Marks and Spencer's perfume. It's quite a small bottle, but I really, really like it. This is the Apothecary Warmth with um, notes of cardamom, cinnamon, leaf, cedarwood and sandalwood. So I actually got this. It's a little bit more citrusy. So I got this last year just before Christmas. And as you can see, there isn't much in there. So I was, I was using it, I would say, from December until about... I don't know about January time, so it's not something I would I would use in the summer. So again, it's quite an affordable one. It's not a massive bottle, but it's it's a really good one. So it's another wintry perfume. <clears throat> My number three is actually it's a miniature one. It's it's an Aldi one, and it's the is the lady. Warfem. I'm not quite sure I'm properly butchering the pronunciation, so ex really excuse me. So I actually had the big bottle that I ran out, but I got quite a few of these because they come and go in all these as you know with their special buy. But I really like this perfume. So this is my number three, which is very floral. It's got dark notes of sandalwood and uh, tanka beans that complements undertones of orange blossom and Bulgaria rose. So it's a little bit of, of a mixture, I would say, because obviously we've got sandalwood in here, tonka beans, but then again we have the rose. So I really, really like this perfume and I absolutely love this, love this um, size um, because um, um, I think it's just so easy when you go, you know, when you go abroad, you just put it in your, you can just put it in your purse anyway. So, and I would say this is an all year around perfume. I would wear this any time of the year really and it's really nice I've had a lot of compliments when wearing this <clears throat> so my number two the Guardian you might have heard of this one it's a very very familiar scent it's quite sweet it's a sweet scent of pineapple coconut and mandarin orange with red berries orchid and jasmine so again it's a very flower flowery flowery perfume it's really nice. I would wear this again all year round uh, because it's just it's a lovely perfume. As you probably, you probably if you see, especially if you saw my previous video, you probably kind of 
figured it out that I kind of gravitate towards the floral perfumes, floral citrus for the summer, and more like the leathery sandalwood and oody um, and cedar wood type of perfumes in the winter. So this is my number two. So I said it's quite cheap. Um, I think you can get the bigger size as well. I don't think I've ever had the bigger size. So this is Guardian by Aldi's. And my number one, again, it's an Aldi one. It's a Lacura Dog Blossom, which is very, uh, this pink pepper and orange blossom with the scent of jasmine and coffee aromas. So again, it's a little bit of a mixture of sweets and heavy. Again, I is something that I would I would wear all year round. So I actually, so these are my my budget perfumes. I, I just thought I'm going to share it with you because, as I said, probably the Zara one was the most expensive when I bought it, and then Mars and Spencer's, and obviously the Aldi ones are very very similar in price. Um, so these are the perfumes I tend to wear for work. Um, I don't really wear my luxury perfumes. Please tell me what's your what's your favorite budget perfume? How much is how much is how much money would you spend um, on a budget perfume? When when would you think mm, actually um, this is not budget anymore? So I said you know the miniature ones were only only a few pounds, and then the most expensive one was about twenty five pound. I would call this budget. So please let me know in the um, in the comment what your favorite is, or if you know any of these perfumes that I I have. And um, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I better get ready and go to work now because it's almost time to leave. So hopefully I'll see you in my next video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like and share my video. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Goodbye.